I am back with another life-changing hacks video. These are so random, they're so different from one another, but they're really good. They're things you're actually going to use. They're gonna make your life easier and better. Ha, this first one, so good, life-changing. You're gonna use it all the time. So if you lose your phone, which is a daily occurrence for me, I'm always misplacing my phone and most often it's it's on silent, which honestly makes it worse because then if, if somebody calls it, I can't hear it, it's a whole thing, but now, this is what you do. You actually just walk around your house and you simply say, hey Siri, where are you? I'm here. Obviously this only really works for people with iPhones, but that's a lot of you out there. And see, my phone is completely on silent and you just say, hey Siri, where are you? I'm over here. It's genius. The next life hack involves Hair removal, yes, hair removal, because it's a much better, more cost-effective, easier, less painful way to remove hair, unwanted hair. And it's Kenzie, so I've worked with Kenzie for years now, I love Kenzie. I've had such amazing results with this IPL Intense Pulsed Light device. So this actually does quite a lot, it's not just hair removal, some people use it for age spots, acne, that kind of thing, but I would say most people are interested in this device to treat unwanted hair. I do have a discount code with them, it's SW20 for 20% off, so I'll have them linked down below, but I'm just gonna show you exactly what you get, how to use it, it's so easy, truly, and you can use it anywhere on your body. Let's just start with this. This just, I like to mention this because this is the quick start guide, it just explains how to use everything, but it also shows the different skin tones and then what level would work best on your skin tone. Now here is the device and then the power cord, which is really long, which I really appreciate. So you just plug it in and then you're gonna see this green flashing light, that's the on and off button, you just press it, it turns on and then you use that same button to adjust the level. So I go full blast, level five, and you're just going to put it over the area you want to treat, press the button and you will see it flash. And so you'll just go over the area. I like to do my underarms. I like to do my bikini line is my favorite. And you do this once a week. There's also what's called glide mode, which is when you hold this button down and you just glide it over your skin and the light continually flashes. And I think that's a great mode for larger areas like your legs. Now you'll start to see results after two or three weeks. Your hair is going to start to come in slower and thinner and then you'll see full results after 12 weeks. Now some of the main questions I get about this, this is not a laser. As I mentioned, it's an IPL device, which is intense pulse light. So it just flashes a light down to your hair follicle. So you need to have darker hair. You need to have some pigment in your hair follicle for this to work but it does not hurt. That's the beauty of it. It truly just feels like a little little rubber band flick, like a very light one. Like it, it truly does not hurt and I use level five. Now just keep in mind, as I mentioned, most people do use this for hair removal, but because of the various wavelengths, it does treat other skin conditions like acne, age spots, it helps with skin rejuvenation. So if you do wanna use it on different parts of your body for other purposes or even on your face, you can do that too. So I do think this is a really good light hack because it actually works, it doesn't hurt, it's way more cost effective if you get a laser package at some salon. It really does hurt, but it's also very, very expensive. So this is much more affordable and you can do it at the convenience of your own home and you get long-term results. So once you do see results, you do have to use this every few months just to maintain it. So again, I will have Kenzie linked down below or you can go to Kenzie.com, that's K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com and be sure to use my code SW20 for 20% off. Next, we're moving into the closet area. I have a few space-saving hacks for you and this one, involves hanging long things in areas that just aren't for long things. So um, here's just an example, like this is a long dress and when I try to hang it up in this spot in my closet, it just, it doesn't work. And, and so many of us have areas like this. So what you actually do is get a second hanger and then put it towards the bottom and then lift up and then suddenly it, you know, cuts the, the, the pants or the dress or whatever you're hanging in half and then you can easily hang it up in that smaller space. Now in my last life hacks video, I shared a blanket folding hack where if you fold it a certain way, it creates a little pouch where you can store your remotes and you guys loved it. And so I have another folding hack that I think you'll really like. Um, it's great for just clothes in general, pants, shorts, 
towels. So here's just an example with jeans. You just lay the jeans straight out on the floor, fold in the crotch area just to make it straight. And then you bring up the bottom, then the top, and then you literally tuck it in itself. And it just creates a really strong fold. And it's perfect for stacking your jeans. It's perfect for having them be upright in a drawer. Um, you can also do this with shorts. And again, you literally just like fold it into one another and you tuck it in. Um, you can do it with towels. You just fold in the towel very, very straightforward and then tuck it in itself. And it just creates a very tight fold, perfect for stacking, storing, or displaying. Now this hack is more for the lazy ones out there, <laughs> better for me. Um, this is for hanging your jeans. And I did mention this in a recent closet organization video, but you guys need to try these hooks out for hanging jeans. They are so inexpensive. I can link them down below. You just get them on Amazon, but you simply put the belt loops, like two of the back Belt, belt loops from your jeans uh, on this hook and then you hang it up and then your your jeans hang there almost like you're in a designer boutique. Like it truly is so easy to maintain and looks so nice. The next hack involves removing makeup from your clothes. Now I can't be the only one. I mean, I obviously wear makeup and I try my hardest to not get makeup on my clothes but it still happens. And so I always keep makeup remover solution in my closet. And what's funny is I never actually use this kind of stuff to remove my actual makeup. I only use it in my closet. So I get a cotton pad or a cotton swab or whatever, and I just dab this onto the stain and it works instantly. It's so much better than an actual stain remover. Like this stuff is designed to get off makeup. And so use it on your clothes. It works really well. Another hack in preventing makeup from even getting on your clothes in the first place is to actually spray hairspray along the collar. And I only do this for clothes that have like a higher collar or a higher neckline. And I just take hairspray, I'll spray it. It's completely clear. It just puts a layer on your clothes and it prevents any makeup from transferring. Okay, this next one, you're gonna think I'm a wacko. You're gonna be skeptical. I was too, um, but hear me out. So this hack is putting some chlorophyll drops into water and drinking it every day. And it helps to significantly reduce the, the body odor. Like you, you don't smell. Again, I was so skeptical. I decided to give it a try because I kept seeing all these people on TikTok talk about it. And I already had some in my refrigerator. So I can link exactly what I have. It's actually in the peppermint flavor, so it doesn't even taste bad. Basically, chlorophyll is extracted from green plants. It's like super, super green, and it's really healthy for you. Like it's even regardless of this hack, like it is something healthy for you to drink. I even just Googled different things that it helps with. It helps with inflammation. It helps to neutralize toxins, which I think is what cuts the down the body odor thing. It helps to increase red blood cells. Like it's just a healthy thing to do. So I started trying it, and no joke, I legit legitimately think it cuts down on your body odor. I use a lot of natural deodorant. Heck, there's so many days I'm here by myself in my house and I don't even put any deodorant on. And I 1000% notice a, an improvement in that area. I'm not gonna say that you are like never gonna smell like anything, but I, it's like to the point where if I forget deodorant, it's not that big of a deal. This is another weird one, but I don't care. I like it. It has to do with bananas. So here I am in my bathroom, peeling the banana upside down, which this was the first time I've ever done that. This is so weird to me. People are like, this is the real way to peel a banana. This is the way the monkeys do it. I don't like it. Just peel the banana like normal. But what you're gonna do is keep the peel, like actually use the banana peel on your face. You rub it on your face as a skincare treatment. And I really, really like it because if you think about it, bananas are so high in nutrients and vitamins. They're very high in vitamin C. They're very anti-inflammatory. So if you rub the banana peel on your skin, it feels really nice. And I legitimately, like I'll wait usually like 10 or 15 minutes and wash it off. And I feel like my skin looks brighter. It looks better. I feel like it makes my skin just feel nice. I don't know, this is just something to try. Um, and I think you might like it. Here is another food hack, but this is this is not for beauty purposes. This is like just an actual like kitchen hack, make your life easier. I'm calling it the egg hack. It's shocking. I can't believe this works. So what you actually do, if you wanna boil eggs or like get a, you know, make a hard boiled egg. You know how sometimes when you peel the, 
peel the egg, it's like really hard. Like it's the shells everywhere. It doesn't peel well. This is a way to get it to be super easy. You actually just take the butt of the egg, like you, like the bottom half and you tap it with your spoon. And I'm gonna, like I used my microphone so you could literally hear this. You just tap, tap, tap. And you hear that snap? It like, it's like a snap. So I'll do it again. Take the spoon and, and tap. And then you hear a, a, a snap. Like it's like so cool. So anyway, that's like the membrane inside the egg releasing. And so then you can just proceed with boiling the egg, you know, for hard boiled eggs. And then when you go to peel the egg, it just like literally slides right off. It just, it's just like a fun thing to do, but it actually makes your life easier. Next we have this hack. So this is, I guess, just like a tool that is, is it really a hack? Not, I guess you need to buy this, but I've just been thoroughly enjoying it. Um, basically it's like a peanut butter knife. Really, it's just like in this weird shape that allows you to get out everything in a jar. So I love it for peanut butter, mayonnaise, anything that you just, you're like wasting the stuff. This just truly gets it all out. And the clip that I filmed, I feel like it looks bad because I was trying to like have the camera over my shoulder and me to like do this and I couldn't really see, but I assure you this gets out every last drop. So those are my life-changing hacks. Anything that I mentioned, I will have linked down below in the description box and also pinned in the comment section, including Kenzie. Please subscribe if you are new and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.